been a few weeks since me and Steve slept together and I'm worried it's coming back to haunt me. I just noticed recently that I have missed a period. It has been at least like three, four weeks or something like that since me and Steve obviously did sleep with each other. Um, I just want all this paranoia to go away. The last thing I need right now is another baby, when it's clearer than ever that I have no future with Steve. He's chosen Kirsty over me, and he acts like all of this is my fault. I don't think I led you on. Right, sit there and say why you don't yeah, think I led I think, me on then. I think, I think you led me on to try and ruin my life. Goodbye, Stephen. He's picking Brooklyn up today, and I really don't feel like talking anymore. Oh yeah, come in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on, Brooklyn, let's go. Still, I think it was mad yesterday. And we turned up to each other to make peace. Like one. And do it. I tried to, Steve, do you what didn't want it. And you just kept bringing up Yeah, but it was tip for stuff. tap. You were, you were sat right there. Right here. Going. Quick, come on. What are you doing today? What? What you got planned? Not a lot. Please. Brooklyn, wave. Mummy loves you. Fuck it, aren't you? <laughs> you know, I actually thought about things and I did have a big chat with my dad and I realised what your problem is. OK. You always Bye. try. Oh, you bang out. I just want to get on with my life, you know. I've got more important things to concentrate on than bloody Stephen Rankin. I'm hoping my period is late because I've been so stressed out. If I'm pregnant, then I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I don't want to bring another baby into the world, like, during loads of problems. I have just done my, uh, this pregnancy test, and um, it is good news right this minute in time. I am not pregnant. <laughs> Bye.